Hello, my collective. So I got a big old story for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I welcome you, and I hope you're having a wonderful... I hope you had a wonderful weekend, and you just enjoy this work week coming, and I hope you can get something out of my reading, at least one thing. Everybody's welcome, and here, here I go, collective. I love y'all, and thank you for the loyal support and help that I've been getting, and all my new subscribers, thank you, and I hope I can help you. Okay, so first off, uh, it's it says the king pulled out and these circle cards. I got four of them and it says And I left it how it laid so there's some king that is um, Trying to oppress you They are misusing their power over you. They're a corrupt. They're corrupt. They're all about corruption now I don't know who this is in your all's life. You gotta you're, You have to figure it out, but they want to be ruler and commander over you. Okay, and um they um, pay somebody to do magic over you and you're a medicine woman maybe and and this person all they can do is uh, they over promise you the world they promise you promise you and yet they keep they keep lying to you and they they blame their hurts that's that's down inside their self onto you like you personally did it to them they <laughs> just stupid and they're just like an empty room, you know. Uh, they're trapped in their addictions and uh, they're instable. Uh, they move. What does that say? Hang on a minute. It says they're more for more's sake they want more and more are you understanding they want the, but they're just in the abyss a dark nothing they're just like in the darkest person and they're they don't want you to get out of this box because they're trying to be king over a shaman a healer and they can't do that <laughs> they can't do it and 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 they're rigid at the moment because the um, they place limits in your life to make you not leave the fucking house. Do you understand? And they're going to get judged for this. Judgment is happening right now as we speak. And they're fe they're in fear because they think they're going to have to go to jail. Are you listening? All right. So uh, this person is addicted to uh, drugs because it come out methadone right beside of it. And it could be um, somebody that is like... Uh, they paid a grandpa to act devilish towards you, this person did. And uh, they might have been stealing, mo stealing money from you and paid somebody to do magic on you. Are you listening? And childish people does childish shit. And you're aligned with your life purpose. And they lied on you. They went and lied and said you was like sh uh, bad off, like shooting up methadone or cocaine or meth or something her one day they went and lied and all his grandpa does is go out and buy lot lizards see grandpa just goes out and buys old lot lizards you know that's where they pay pick them up at these truck stops so they went and lied on you and uh it says they're jealous of you and god saw how they was acting out of character and lying on you and and that fake ass friend all they did is fantasize about getting you in your bed just so you screw them that's all it was this childish little bitch and and uh maybe on monday their business is going to be investigated whoever this is if they got in your business now their business is getting getting investigated it's going to start on monday and and uh there's two men at least coming after somebody out here because you didn't have nothing to do with them and they're pissed off i guess you know this though so watch out on Monday. They're liable to uh, try to come and do something to you. Are you listening? But I think it's saying on Monday they're going to be real pissed because they're coming to investigate this. That somebody's been out here talking about. Somebody in Tyro. Okay? They're going to be real pissed. Let me go ahead and pick up these cards right here. Come back. Uh, and uh, and and then we got communication come out down here, and uh, you're commu uh, you're communicating a lot of information, and exchanging uh, your thoughts with people at the moment, and 
and this reminds us to run every piece of information both incoming and outgoing through our heart center the center of our truth to stay in the flow of source and balance exchange and and uh you're te teaching others to uh you know um about ancient egypt egyptian knowledge you know and maybe you've been maybe you've linked your lineage to the pharaohs you know and uh Maybe you've linked your knowledge to where you, you know that you helped to make these writings back way long ago. You're rooted in this. That's why Root Shocker come out. You got roots from Egypt, Native America, and Asia, Mother. That's what it says. Because it pulled out communication, Egypt, Root Shocker, Native American, Asia, Mother. So you've got your, you, your roots is from Asia, Native American, and Egypt. So if you're somebody like that, you can hit subscribe if you don't mind. 559. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. And um, so maybe you got, uh, you have Buddha lineage, you know, you know, um, and Native American and Egyptian. That's, that's great. And you're very compassionate and because you're a mother and you've had children and that's why you're compassionate and uh, this supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and by the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. Oh, uh, and they, they love that you're speaking of how there's a lot of people in this world at the moment, they ain't got a lot of food and they're hungry, and how it's crazy that people ain't smart enough to look around and see that this has happened to everybody in our communities that we can't hardly afford food people in america you know and and it just keeps getting worse and i hate it don't you all for I, i'm grateful for everything i got you all um i am because you never know when you won't have something i think it's saying right here communicate about how egypt Remember back long ago when they tra they traveled for uh, forty years through Egypt. Remember when the when they when the slaves when they freed them from Egypt when they walked for uh, forty uh, years. Remember they always had enough food. Are you remember what I'm talking about? Like uh, the divine God always made sure that they had enough food and drink. And remember Noah took his staff. To and he hit that rock and they would be water flow for the people to drink are you listening that's how they had water back in egyptian times so i mean if you believe in always gods and goddesses and things i mean it all ties in even you know jesus and god all that and what what i'm saying is you all need to remember that all of our roots stem from way long ago we got to bring back these old practices that's what i think but uh, you got a lot of wisdom because you're a damn magical rare unicorn, you know. 808, you might be an Aquarius like me and you get a lot of wisdom because, you know, you were sent here to, because it's the age of Aquarius, you know, and you just got a lot of wisdom because you've lived this hard life and you can speak on it. You've lost a lot of people close to you and things maybe in your life like I have and I can help, I can help the younger people I know I can with a little bit of wisdom that, that I've had to from my life lessons, you know, and you got to change your conception, and this invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. Yeah, it helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So if you focus on it with pure intentions, you got a pure heart, you can do anything, baby. That's what it's saying. Use your wisdom wisely, you all, and p bring your passions to life. See, I'm passionate about my work, you guys. And and people, they, they'll they talk about all them full sentences. Well, let's see if they like all my cards I just made with a few a few words on it. They'll bitch about that next. You know, just don't let people knock you off your path. 919, don't let them. And um, the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies a hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding a balance within this intensity moving us from chaos to the calm of its core where we can let this long lasting wisdom fill us up yeah so you're 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 going out at, uh, you know at dark to being calm at narcissist way to being calm that's all it means and you're integrating this into your life daily and spirit loves you for it and they love you the spirit's giving you a lot of high vibes at the moment and uh, the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves allowing 
what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life yeah yeah see like me i'm an aquarius and i got uranus and i have saturn so you know saturn that's the devil capricorn card and uh but it's also father time saturn you understand and that's why i have a lot of wisdom because that is a planet of mine and uranus so i, I always tell people it's like you know that good little angel in the devil i have that and that's why when I was five year old, you all, I looked up in the clouds and I told my mom as I'd been riding my big wheel down a down a Beehive Road. That's where I where where we live. We called it Beehive Road because that old man had beehives there. But me and my brothers, we always liked to go up and ride down big wheels. And this is like in 1984 or five, you all. And I remember uh, I was got done playing i laid there in the sky and i was looking at the clouds and i saw the i saw the devil and god is what i thought you know and i told my mom about it and she's like oh you're crazy your imagination's playing games on you but no it it was letting me know that one day i was going to be teaching others that we all got this 11 11 oh wow we're going to ooh, make a wish and it'll come true when you see that oh yeah oh yeah it's going to play so, I was trying to tell you back then that you were supposed to communicate to others about this Egyptian knowledge and you keep learning more and more so you can explain more. And, I'm, and I got some Egyptian cards that uh, I can read out of the book and it's got a lot of information. If y'all don't get mad at me and I'll do that, you know, like once a week. So, that'll be for people that wants to look into that book of doors with me if you want to i have that deck so i'll i'll share it with you i've had it for a long time and i've used it before you just have to watch my videos i've been on here six months people just now starting to notice me within this past month like they wouldn't let me get around in the spiritual community because i think somebody paid somebody to do this to me and they watched it on the internet and that's why i talk about it oh in the holy bible your angels gave you gift of testimony if you've been called to speak your testimony to others, then this gift was given to you through the whispering of Holy Spirit, and it's leading you to speak your truths. See, that's what I do. That's what I do, and your angels give you the gift of positivity. That's why people will gravitate towards you, just so they can be around your positive energy, because you're high vibing, baby. That's why. And your angels gave you a gift to raise people's vibes, so it helps to raise the universe's vibrations for the good of all humanity. Yeah, that's what they did for me. I'm a voice. I am for humanity. Oh, and your angels gave you get to know it on the first day you meet somebody if you're meant for a higher purpose or if you're meant to learn lessons from that person. Yeah, angels gave me this gift of discernment, and I love you for it, angels. I appreciate it. Nobody has permission to copy my angels or my numbers because they're all together. And one day, I might sell this deck to the public because this is all my gifts. And when I figure out more gifts that I have, I'm going to write more. So I'm not even done with these cards yet. Oh, and your angels give you get to bring magic back to dying relationships. You have magical powers within yourself, and it heals the hearts of many people. People, poof, you're magically delicious. Oh, wow. You're magically delicious. Like, you know, uh, lucky charms. <laughs> you're just a lucky charm, baby. That's how it is. Oh, and your angels gave you a gift of talking to your past over loved ones, and they will warn you when danger is coming towards you or when good is coming into your life. Danger warning or good coming. 1333, they're always here in our new beginning helping us manifest what... We manifest what they help us. We, we, we just tell people about it. And you might be seeing 1414 a lot. And people um, might be looking up to you, you know, because you're a unique, magical, rare unicorn that with a lot of wisdom. And you're very inventive. And you're just a good person. And you got a good aura. And you focus on your desires and needs and meeting them. And you're manifesting contact you're moving towards union or reunion with your twin your heart and mind is aligned and you're keeping an optimistic attitude about what you want in your life baby that's what it means when you see 1414 no he has permission to copy oh and financial good luck is coming when you see 737 baby and we see it all the time on my channel we see like 727 737 47 57 don't we yep oh financial good luck is coming your way when you hear me say that and mind body and spirit are in full alignment uh, your mystical and magical energy is coming all around you at the moment it's, uh, zzz, it's integrating into your life i'm helping you all to integrate it to your house and i'm telling you all to place a bubble around you so nothing to get to you in the spiritual or the physical place a white light or you can place a blue bright light for twin ray or you can put a a violet bright light for twin flame are you listening 
you how's your somebody that's balanced in your masculine and feminine it already said it oh and what was i going to tell you and uh money is going to start coming into you flowing to you effortlessly because this higher power has guided you at this time to set your hind end down and all your relationships are being healed at the moment and you are leveling up baby you're leveling up that's what it means and i love you spirit because this come out for me this the way oh i love you and for my collective out here it's doing it for all of us us good ones that don't take other stuff from other people that's what it's coming to people that steal from others in their practice no it won't okay so somebody that somebody keeps it says more studying somebody's studying uh about leaving this narcissist somebody's watching me studying about leaving this narcissist and they're scared to come clean to you now this narcissist is scared uh but but they like making love to you it says make love out in the wild but life is fragile and you need to handle it with prayer and yes that's true and that's what my little baby angel says right here and yes, this is the Age of Aquarius, and this is my teachings, and I appreciate you all for believing in my teachings. And then it pulled out deceased mom, deceased cousin, deceased friend, and it pulled out electrical orbs that swirls. And if you've listened to my channel for a long time, and I told you about my stepson, when he passed away, I got, got it on camera. Uh, at, in pictures of them orbs in the seats and you know I just found that book and I'm going to show it to you tomorrow I got to go through them pictures and find this so I can show you these electrical orbs and spirits tell me right now uh, that it was a deceased mom grandmother and a, a, a cousin and a friend of my stepson and my husband's son that passed away that's who them electrical orbs that swirled around those seats I told y'all about that's who it was in them. And I thank you, Spirit, for just guiding me to see that right now. And I love you so much. And I appreciate you. And I'm grateful for you showing me things. And they was unexpected visitors. Look. There's unexpected visitors. These electrical orbs that swirls. Now, what do you think about that? Now, if you start hearing people saying electrical orbs that swirls, you'll know that that they stole it 1717 from over here at Pam Star Oracle, you know, 88. So pay attention. They try to bust to manifest abundance into their life and i'm trying to uh, manifest abundance into me and my collective's lives out there i'm trying to show y'all how to do it keep watching me and you'll figure out one day uh you're somebody that knows how to explain yourself and this narcissist needs to explain their self better to you that's what it's saying okay oh but it's actually saying you're explaining yourself better now spirit loves you aquarius because aquarius is right there and uh the, they somebody that's changed their mind uh, about it says someone you work with is copying all your life's lessons that you tell of so this person see this is my idea I'm speaking on it because I know they've been stealing on me and I tell my collective about it uh, they've changed their mind about uh, maybe stealing from you but what they don't know is it's already out in the public so they know that they've been stealing off of you and spirit is on his or her ice now they're on their ice now this person wanted to lure you outside to kill you wanted to kill you are you listening and I said quit doing everything that I do on my channel quit doing everything I do on my channel yeah, I can forgive you, but I'm not going to forget what y'all did to me and my collective and, wh and what we learned from blabbing things. You know, I always say you can't steal my work and they can't steal it, you guys. That's what pisses them off. That's why they'll say, Spirit tells you whole full paragraphs and just bitchy shit because they try to get you fighting. And, and they almost called Debbie down or narcissist, you know. And, and if you're like me, I changed my mind and I left these narcissists. I don't pay no mind to them. I just pay a mind when they steal from my channel because uh, their titles tell on them. Oh, and uh, you you pass by your twin on the highway and your hearts are wasting a thousand miles an hour when you all pass by each other. You're all wealthy in the physical and the spiritual. And y'all have the best sex ever. Oh, God, me. 1919, me and my twin does. I know. I live with him. I love him, baby. It's the best sex ever. And he does have a Dodge Ram 1500. And I always pull it out and I love you, spirit. I love you. Oh, God, you're going to have the best sex ever now. If you all, if you all was masking a Dodge Ram 1500, you're all going to have the best sex ever, ever, whenever you get with them. Trust and believe. And somebody's saying, don't look over here at my relationship or you'll get slapped. Oh, that's what Twin Flame's saying. Don't y'all look over at my woman now, motherfucker. Oh, the my masking's coming to you. You're also rescue for somebody out here. He's going to whisk you away uh, to a new state to live with you now. 
Spirit told me to ride it one day. Somebody's going to boat on our state now. Are you listening? Ooh. Something about at a restaurant. This landlord spies even when you go out to a restaurant. They're spying on you. Spying on you every time you go outside. This is for someone out here. Are you listening? And, uh, there's a no contact order in place. I don't, 2020, I don't know who this is for, but maybe that contract, that no contact order started in 2020 for somebody. And they might have had a, they might have a Mustang, this landlord, or you have a Mustang, or your person, somebody does, has a Mustang. You went through a total transformation and people can see that you're just a beautiful butterfly floating around. You're so beautiful and you transform to a new person and it's your duty to tell the truth so justice can prevail. I love you, Spirit, how you flip out all these cards into a line for me and you make my practice like that. No, they can't take it because they know I have a good spiritual practice and they want to be it's about it. But I love y'all, my collective peace. I love you. <laughs> oh, and look. They're going to cook you a great hot meal. Oh, somebody might be going to a restaurant to eat tonight, and you're going to have a good hot meal, baby. Maybe it's your birthday. Oh, wow. You're serving humanity with humility. Ooh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Virgo. Happy birthday to you. And this will be for Virgos. Happy birthday. This video won't upload till tomorrow the 19th. So, happy birthday, September 18th the 19th. <laughs> oh, you're serving humanity with humility. Pretty face. I love my twin flame. Oh, wow. I just told you how much I did. Just stand right there, big guy. Did you notice? You, you got such a pretty face. Oh, God. I love it. Somebody has a deceased daughter out here, and they have such a pretty face. Spirit's telling somebody out here, whoever has a little deceased little daughter, they had the beautifulest little face, and they just love you so much, Mama, and don't you worry, because the angel's got them wrapped up in their wings, and I can speak to this. I've lost a child, and I love y'all. I love y'all, okay? And maybe, uh, wait, and I'm going to read it another way. There's hidden lies that's being exposed at the moment, uh, because they had put a spell on you to never leave your house for someone out here. Oops person that has a pretty face that's serving humanity with humility and you have a deceased daughter that's helping you to expose all these lies they put a spell on you to never leave your house <laughs> so then it says right here more studying of this deceased mom somebody might be studying some a mother's death out here and somebody changed their mind about their twin maybe their twin at a restaurant when you you're going to see your twin at a restaurant and they're going to uh buy you a meal they want to cook you a hot meal or buy you a meal are you listening and something about leave the narcissist it was a deceased cousin of yours maybe that's a narcissist it says somebody that you work with is copying all your life lessons that you speak of like i'm telling this, this happens to me and uh you're wealthy in the spiritual and the physical, and your deceased cousin is helping you to leave a narcissist. And they're telling you that this landlord spies on you all the time, person that serves humanity with humility. Just about five, ten minutes, and he or she is just scared to come clean to you, this deceased friend. Somebody's scared to come clean to you, and and this deceased friend of your all's out here, spirit is on their ass, this person that is uh, that's lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> that you had the best sex ever with. There's going to be a no contact order from that pretty face of yours. Do you to hear how Spirit said that? I love Spirit. If y'all love Spirit as much as me, hit like and hit subscribe if you if you ain't subscribed. And it says you're going to be making love out in the wild and it's going to be a lot of electrical orbs that swirls around and and, and there's there's always going to be people. There's somebody wanting to lure you outside and kill you. And it's somebody that has a Dodge Ram 1500 and a Mustang. And a uh, deceased daughter is uh, helping you so you will not get killed by that person. Are you listening? How that, re how that come out, that story? And life is fragile and you need to handle it with prayer. You're getting ready to receive an unexpected visitor. And it's some, uh, and, and you're saying, quit doing shit, everything I do on my channel. And this unexpected visitor might be going to get slapped for some reason. They're, they're going to try to uh, slap you for going through this transformation and you expose all their lives, but you're going to slap the fuck right out of them, don't worry. 
Yes, because it's the age of the Aquarius, and you explain yourself better t for all people to see two sides. You're good at that. I know you are, because I'm an Aquarius. And you forgive these people, but you sure to hell don't forget what they did. That's why Divine Masculines might want to move you away to another state. Or y'all might be just going to travel the world if y'all got enough money to do that. And, and your duty was to tell the truth on these people so just could prevail. And these people that put spells on you, they're never... They, they ain't never going to prevail, okay? They're not going to prevail, so don't worry. That's crazy how it come out, like deceased mom, deceased cousin, deceased friend, and deceased daughter, electrical orbs. That's crazy, you know? It, and I know what that meant for me, and I thank you for that spirit. Daughter wasn't over, it was over here. It was saying some uh, someone's deceased daughter had a, a pretty face. And maybe they had a no contact with this person that might have drove a Dodge Ram 1500 or a Mustang. I don't know, but they must have killed this daughter because she exposed lies. And that's pitiful, you all. That's pitiful. Or they run her over or something. I don't know who that story right there was. But you're somebody who's well being spiritual and physical. Your twin sees it and now. He sees it, baby, and she sees it now. That you're serving humanity. And they gonna cook you something good to eat, baby. They gonna cook you something delicious, and you're gonna be like, "Wow, that's so good, baby." Twenty six, twenty six, and let me get you a little message. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let me use this little romance tile of whatever it's called. It's got a lot of different. You all have seen it before, just to know. Spirit, can you give the same message? Pop, 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 Hang on, you guys, and I'll tell you what I know about it. Ooh, what are you going to go Ooh, what are you going to go Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow, what is that? Ooh, what is that? Ooh, what is that? Oh, don't worry, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So here's what it says, uh, six of wands, uh, this is, um, you're going to have a victory, uh, this is, a you, you got in a boat and sailed away, you're sailing towards this true love, that's what it is, you're sailing towards this true love, and this devil temptress, see how she's got a, something tied to her down here, this devil, uh, temptress around, uh, is watching you build your wealth seven of pentacles she's watching you uh work on yourself and and uh you're you planted your seeds and you're watching them grow and uh then we got five of cups this devil temptress for you all she was trying to leave you out in the cold about she was trying to leave you out in the cold i don't know See, you're, you've unmasked it, or see a little mask, you've unmasked her how she was watering, she is pouring out emotions, see how it's running over like this, she is pouring out her emotions to some other person, that's what it is, and, um, you know, it could have been you at one time did that, but spirit moved you away from acting like that, but I think it's, uh, uh, somebody that's doing something right now, like, they might be having a fire. See how she's and that man's a little hiding his eyes, and that woman's are looking at him. So eight of wands. So uh, 
you might be getting ready to receive some messages from Miss Neville Temptress uh, or your love. They want to write you a message, Page of Cups. They want to they want to give you a little love, but they're immature. It's someone immature, someone younger than you, and they um, you've you've halfway unmasked this younger person, uh, and over here someone wearing their mask. Maybe this is uh, somebody that's spying on you and your partnership. You know, two of cups, your uh, partnership in business or a relationship somebody's spying on you maybe and they're hiding and uh six of swords um they're spying on the connection that you and them have see how your all's hands is like this you're all you're all connected you're one they can't get enough of your all's fucking relationship and they're stealing your light bulb moments. Ding, 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 ding. See all them light bulbs? They're stealing all your light bulb moments. And uh, they, they're they just wanting to interfere, maybe. You're going to see some fast communication, uh, uh, not a sports about And look, you know, nine of wands. This was you having the courage to stand up for your beliefs and you're getting ready to uh, we'll see some news, you and your partner in your marriage, maybe. All about all these obstacles and challenges that you had to go through. Seven of Wands, yeah, obstacles and challenges. And uh, you're all going to be coming together and you might be uh, traveling. You might be coming back from traveling. and Or you're, you're going to get some news that you're going to have to move away. So... This person that loves you, there's a devil temptress attached to him and um, or her, and 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 this her is watching what you're building at the moment, and she's wanting to cause a fight. See how that? See how this man and them two women's trying to fight? Yeah, she's trying to cause a a fight in your relationship. She and that might be why your old man might not be paying you much mind at the moment. That's how it looks to me. Like it feels different because they're sneaking around, they're hiding in the community, fucking around. See that right there? See that? And um, you're going to receive a message about how they go off and meet each other. How they go off and meet each other. It's a third party, one, two, three, one, two, three. You want to see a message about how there's a third party whore around and trying to mess with your giant love and abundance from divine divine give you your loving kindness and your blessings of your love and somebody's trying to mess with it and uh they can't because you keep building you keep building your legacy and you don't let nothing get you down baby you're going after your goals and dreams and uh you're getting ready to see some uh seeds that you planted it's, it's you're gonna start seeing it and um and judgment will come to this person uh uh that they, they will get to, the judgment is coming and um That could just be, um, that might be star too. Like you're a hope for all and you pour out all your love and you write very well and people notice this. They see you as a loving, intuitive, kind person and that uh, you and uh, you and your divine masculine love each other. You and your person, you love each other. You and your partner, you and your marriage, whoever it is, you all really love each other and care. You and your friend, you all care for each other and they just wanted to put burdens and obstacles in. They didn't want you to cross their line. Do you understand? They didn't want you to uh, push through your fears, but but you did, and you're communicating about it. That's what it means. And I hope it helped you guys. I love you very much, and I gotta get off here. It's already 34. And peace. I tried to tie it all in, so you're uh, you're 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 taking the mask off of all the narcissists. That's all it is. I love you guys, and peace. I hope it's helped somebody today. I appreciate you all. Please come back tomorrow. I'll be here in a little bit. I gotta finish my supper. Peace.